California might soon have a new cash crop. Homegrown coffee farms are popping up all over North County in San Diego, and Ross found a farmer who's making his dream come true. Hey, Kyle, welcome to California Live. Hey, thanks for having me, Ross. <laughs> Absolutely. So we are talking all things coffee today, and you're an expert. So tell us, what kind of coffee did you have this morning? Well, I, I wouldn't use the word expert. Uh, everybody's just kind of trying to figure things out in the coffee world, and it's a fun game to play. But uh, this morning, I had a coffee from Indianapolis from a uh, roaster called Tinker, who uh, is a friend of a friend. And he was nice enough to send me out and some and uh, kind of just tasting his profiles and things like that. And it's, uh, it's a fun way to interact with everybody across the, uh, the U.S. and the globe. You're part of a new trend in coffee growing in San Diego. What is Blue Tail Coffee Grove? Blue Tail Coffee Grove is an organic coffee farm in the uh, hills of San Marcos, California. Um, we have a uh, kind of a Mediterranean style climate here. Uh, and anywhere avocados can grow, coffee should be able to grow. It doesn't mean it grows well, but it should be able to grow. Um, so they've been experimenting in SoCal and Santa Barbara for about 10 years now. Um, and it looks like it's actually going to work. And it's producing some amazing coffee scoring in, in the high 80s, low 90s, which is which way up there. Um, so I got into it about three years ago and uh, started growing my own my own farm. Wow. And so, yeah, you don't necessarily associate coffee growing with California. What is that unique flavor profile? I, I, I did read somewhere you sort of um, compared it to an Ethiopian bean. Yeah, I mean, every region has its own its own flavor palette, just like uh, wine, um, which is why we're very excited at Breakers to, to compare the two and bring a seamless experience. So what's what we're trying to do is is figure out what California coffees taste like. Um, we don't have a ton of data right now. The supply has been so low, but we're already up to 65, 75 farmers growing it. Um, so that's right around the corner. The uh, the flavors that I've tasted have been, it's been very acidic, sweet, floral. Um, it's producing a ton of complex sugars because we have such a long harvest period, which is great for the coffee maturation. Um, so we're very excited about the coffee that we're, we're already getting. So your farm is in San Marcos. What are some of the challenges of growing coffee in North County? The biggest problem is water. We don't have a ton of water. Uh, you know, we're, we're kind of coastal desert. So when we do get those deluges in the spring, they really are needed and necessary. If we don't get them like we didn't get them this last spring and winter, um, those water bills really go up. Um, so we're, we're kind of taking a full approach and just seeing where we can make the best of it and where we need to uh, figure some things out. And, and we hear you're opening an awesome place to showcase this coffee. Tell us about Breakers. Breakers is opening this uh, summer in the Delmar Highlands Town Center. Uh, we're very excited to be able to bring California coffee right to the shop from the get-go. We're working with uh, the mill house called Fringe, who's going to be able to sell us uh, some of their very limited supply so that we can sell to the public in San Diego and can try SoCal coffee. We're also going to feature wine. Um, and we really want to create this seamless experience between coffee and wine. It's just so similar, um, you know, from, from the top topography of where it's grown, to how it's milled, to how it's processed. We've, we've created a product that allows us to cup at the table and to do it in four minutes for the consumer. Um, that product hopefully is going to be coming online right around the time that we're opening and um, you'll be able to come in the morning say mm, I don't know what coffee I want can I try the Ethiopian the Congo and the Rwanda we'll go ahead and make that at your table for you in under four minutes you try each of them if you like one of them we'll give you a cup of coffee to go with it wow that is so cool so your coffee is organic it's truly local sustainable you must be so proud of of your accomplishments so far um, it's been a long time in the making we were supposed to open last year uh in march and then the pandemic hit and installed us for a year and you know there was times i didn't know if we were going to make it and, and get opened and, and things happened to work out so that was that was amazing so once we get that threshold met i'll, I'll be a happy man 
Well, it's not every day that you can find or meet somebody who is a pioneer in the coffee space. I mean, coffee <laughs> feels like it's kind of been done, right? But you are right on the cusp of maybe something magical here in the great state of California with California grown coffee. Kyle, I think it's super cool, my friend. And we are so thankful for having you on the show today and can't wait to see Breakers on its opening. Thanks for having me, Ross. Can't wait for you guys to make it down.